With calm weather conditions and a new moon this week, stargazers will have a great view of one of the year's best and brightest celestial displays. Meteorologist Jacob Morris explains. Here's another reason to look up at the night sky. The annual Geminid meteor shower peaks this week, but especially on Wednesday night. The shower will produce up to 120 meteors per hour with some bright fireballs. Annual meteor showers are usually produced when Earth crosses debris fields from comets as we orbit the sun. But in the case of the Geminids, Earth will encounter tiny sand-sized particles from an asteroid with some gravel-sized pieces producing bright, dramatic fireballs that will light up the sky. The meteors will harmlessly vaporize about 50 miles above the ground at 22 miles per second. A few meteors can be seen starting at about 9 p.m. locally, radiating from the Gemini constellation, which is to the upper left of the Orion constellation and low in the eastern sky. Many more meteors will be seen as the Gemini constellation rises higher throughout the night, with it being nearly overhead at around 1 or 2 a.m. Most meteors tend to appear colorless or white, but the Geminids often show a greenish yellow hue. Getting away from city lights and letting your eyes adapt to the dark is a good idea to see the most meteors, but with the new moon this week not adding any more light into the night sky, you might even be able to see some meteors within cities. And some more good news, sky conditions are forecast to be mostly clear throughout this week in the northern plains. With the details on this must-see celestial event for your news leader, I'm Jacob Morse.